happy Saturday. I'm being more intentional about coming on here more often. This morning, I stopped by the store and I got my baby some stuff. Cornmeal. I haven't made some cornmeal porridge in a while. I made some today. Cream cheese. Hi y'all, it's a few hours later. Me and I slept for about an hour. And then I got up and decided that I'm gonna make some lunch. So, we just had that. I gave her some goldfish. I bought some goldfish at the store this morning. Love the goldfish. But I discovered that she loved the goldfish since um, last weekend when we were at my friend's. Honey, what's the matter? But um, yeah, I think I'm about to go to the living room and do a little bit of homework. And, um, yeah, I still have a lot of leftovers from lunch that I could eat later on before I go to work. And I had taken out some cherries, uh, half of a banana, and what else? That was it, basically, for me as lunch, but I gave, ended up giving her something else. So I still have that there. So we'll eat that later, or in a little bit if she seems hungry. And then see where the day takes us from there, basically. But I'm going to go to the living room, edit for a little bit, and do some homework. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Tuesday, a productive Tuesday so far, and I have an exam later on in my math class. I cannot wait for this math class to be over. I think I have maybe a good three weeks left. I have to check my academic cal calendar to see how many weeks I really have left, but I can't wait for it to be done. Anyway, it is currently 11.54 a.m. I'm meeting with a nanny today. In about another 15 20 minutes, she should be here. It's gonna rain outside, but um, I spent the entirety of the morning cleaning up the apartment. So, me woke up this morning and we made a little bit of breakfast. We lounged out here for a while, and then um, I went through and like cleaned up the living room. Yesterday, I did a lot of cleaning too, cleaned up the living room, and I hate cleaning on my days off. And yesterday, I wasn't off, but I ended up having to call sick, but you know, that's fine. I like cleaning in small increments throughout the week so that, you know, at the end of the week or like when I'm off, I don't have to do too much. So I clean up as I go along and, you know, trash day just passing everything. So that's great. Um, so I wiped the entire hallway because when she's out here, I cannot do that because she gets into everything. So she went down for her nap and I didn't sleep with her. I just decided to do that, you know, vacuum the living room, put away all her toys, fix up the pillows on my couch and stuff like that. And um, I was putting away some stuff instead of the bedroom. But um, you know what? I've accepted the fact that for now and for a while, the living room is going to look a little bit wild and the couch is going to look a little bit wild too because I refuse to take off the throws off of the couch because then the cushions are going to look like these two. These two, you can already see that those are the ones that are the most worn. These are the areas that we sit in the most. I need to call Raymore and Flanagan to have them clean it because I'm paying for a five-year protection and that includes them cleaning it. So I'll call them one of the times and have them clean it before we get into the winter time. And then, um, yeah, that should be fine. I think too, I should change out the, I think I should possibly change out the color of the cushions on the couches to kind of lively it up a little bit for the summer months. Like the green, the black is fine, I think. But on the green, I think I should change out. I have gold as well. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll see about that, okay? Um, 
I, it's such a beautiful couch and I do not want to have to get a couch cover to cover it up but also I have a baby and we live here and one thing about me is we're going to live in the living room okay yesterday was laundry day too so inside here smells like fresh laundry and I absolutely love that we have the long hallway a candle is going in every single room there's a candle here that looks so unorganized but it's the most organized it'll be for a while there's another candle here and I have this little one going in here this one is a lavender and vanilla um, scented candle it's for like you know those aromatherapy from Bath and Body Works that is what that one is I have my pregnancy pillow inside of the bedroom yesterday when I did laundry I ended up taking out the cover and washing it so I'm going to stuff the pregnancy pillow back in the cover because I do like having it on the bed but also the cover needed to be washed so now that I have it washed minutes put it back on but I feel really good this weekend we're also going on a little weekend getaway trip so that's exciting i already started packing for that but i should also get an order from shein that some of those things are going to go in there too and some of those things are for another weekend getaway in august so in like uh, another four weeks so that's where we're at right now i'm waiting for the order it said that it was either on the way or you know it should be delivered between today and tomorrow i'm home today so if it gets delivered today then that's great but also i'm going to be home for most of mostly all of the day tomorrow until it's time for me to go to work so that's also great i'm going through and popping my vitamins so i can take those with me on this trip that we are going on uh so far i have some tums in there i really hate the texture and the taste of tums i have some tylenol i need to put some more tylenol i have my lodipine in there which is more than enough mm. my my primary care told me that i should stop taking the vitamin d because i am taking the prenatal the prenatals and the prenatals already have vitamin D. So when she had done my blood work the other day, my vitamin D levels were a little bit high. So she was just like, all right, just stay off of those for right now. So I have stopped taking those, but I do still have some in here. And we're going to throw out these two tums. I found this little pill organizer on Amazon. And I've had it in my backpack, in my um, tote that I take to work for the longest. But it's very rare occasions that I actually need to take anything out of it at work. Except for the one morning where I stayed over and I, you know, obviously need my vitamins or whatever. So we have that. We need to put some more Tylenol. And we're going to get rid of these vitamin D. Because yeah. I have quite a few of the vitamin D, but also I'm not taking these anymore. She said to stop for a few months. I can't even remember when we had that discussion. But my levels are great based on the mere fact that I've been consistent with it. One, both during my pregnancy and like after. I need to take some Tylenol for Mia when we go away this weekend. What am I putting in here? I already packed some Benadryl for her because I'm not anticipating her having an allergic reaction or anything. But when you're packing for babies, you have to pack for all possibilities. Two, four, five. Two, four, six. Those three go together. All right, we have Tylenol as well. Too much in here okay so we're just about ready i just want to make sure that we have everything for these other trips that we have coming up so i'm i'm um being productive ahead of time and hopefully my past productive self will thank me when that, that time comes so yeah so far that's what we have going on and packing this uh she i think she was awake a while ago when i went in there so and she should be fine right now but i think i'll give her some lunch i have this half of a plum that she's gonna have for lunch and then um i have another fruit it's 12 o'clock i'm gonna check to see if the nanny messaged me and um we're gonna just lounge and wait for her to come so i'll see you guys a little bit later hello you guys it's so much later right now it's 5 50 p.m and we just woke up about 10 minutes ago my alarm just went off to sit and join my class but I met the nanny and she's great. I feel like I've had really good experiences with the nanny so far. Um, and, you know, I paid for care. I did not try to use, like, the free option or whatever. So I met her and she was really, really great. I personally feel like maybe she didn't come last night because it's like... Um, I wanted her to come the same night and it's, like, the hours I wanted her for. So maybe she got, like, a little bit uh, afraid or something. <laughs> I met her um she's pretty good very chill very nice you know she also has a son i think his name is royce which is ah uh, yeah his name is royce because i remember telling her 
Um, I love the name. It's so cute. Um, and we were here just talking for a while. She came at about 12 and she left at 4.30. So we were here talking for 4 hours and 30 minutes. It's so crazy how put two women in a room together and they could just start talking and talking and talking and it's a decent conversation and like a great time because who would have thought that it would have lasted so long anyway it was really really good so now i'm going to join my class i have a test tonight am i prepared no but still have to do it i'm giving me some Of orange, and I'm gonna sit and log into class. But I think I'm gonna wrap up today's vlog right here. So, um, yeah, I will see you guys later tomorrow. I go to work, and tomorrow she comes here. So, um, yeah, should be fun. I'm giving Mia a little snack to hopefully. Hold her over until we're done. Wash my hair today. So now I have it in this little bun. Oh, I need to buy a really rough brush on Amazon. Anyway, bye. Bye, guys.